I'm Leonard Marcus, and I'm the curator of the ABC of it, Why Children's Books Matter. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll was published in 1865, and it was really a revolutionary children's book. It came along at a time when many children's books were very moralistic in tone. And Carroll, on the other hand, wanted to subvert that uh, way of teaching to children and produce a book that was pure fun. Also a book that was almost anarchic in the sense that it made fun of every form of authority you could imagine, from parents to teachers to kings and queens to language and logic itself. And the library has one of the great collections of Lewis Carroll material anywhere. Lewis Carroll was the pen name of Charles Dodson, uh, a, a professor of mathematics and logic at Christ Church, Oxford University. The dean of Christ Church College was a man named Little. Little had three daughters, one of whom was named Alice. Dodson uh, enjoyed the company of uh, young children and one summer day took the three daughters out in a rowboat. Uh, Alice coaxed him into telling them a story. And the story that he improvised uh, was the uh, kernel of what became Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So this photograph was taken by Lewis Carroll a couple of years before he improvised the story that became Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Early photographers often saw photography as a form of theater, and here he's turned her into a character. There's something um, very powerful about this picture. Some people have speculated that Lewis Carroll was a pederast. There doesn't seem to be any real evidence of that, but he, like Freud, understood that children have a deep emotional life and was able to capture that in pictures. In the middle uh, is the copy of Alice that Lewis Carroll gave to the real Alice, and it was the very first copy that ever went into any reader's hands. Her initials are printed on, on the cover, um, Alice Pleasance Little. And I, I get a little chill every time I look at it because when you think how the book has spread around the world uh, and realize that this is the very first copy, it's kind of a wonderful thing. These treasures um, from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland uh, represent just a tiny fraction of, of all the amazing things which are here in the ABC of it, uh, which takes a look at children's literature from all around the world over three and a half centuries.